my channel. So today is one of the most exciting days ever. So we woke up early this morning. Me and my siblings and my dad had to go to the dentist. As we were walking out the door, we're like, oh wait, our sheep's giving birth. So, mom had to stay home and monitor that situation. And once we got back, there was the cutest little thing ever waiting for us. We had a little baby lamb. So that is the good news, but there is a little bit of an issue. So Myrtle, our sheep that gave birth to the lamb, this is her first year being able to breed. And so she's a brand new mom and she has unfortunately rejected the baby. So I've been bringing the lamb, we've named her little Lucy, to her mom. We've locked him in the sheep shed together, all sorts of stuff. She would not feed her. She's actually been running away from her knowing it's her lamb. But we got Myrtle to feed her twice. We had to pin Myrtle down and help the baby eat, but that is not an ideal solution. So it is most likely she's going to be a bottle baby. And so my family has assigned that task to me. That is right, everyone. I'm a sheep mom now. Life goal accomplished. So little Lucy really likes affection. She does not like to be left alone, which means I have been carrying her around, cradled in my arms, in a blanket, like a human baby all day. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep trying to put her in with the rest of the sheep and see if I can make them be nice, but she has to be supervised to be in there. So when she's not supervised, we put her in a little kennel. <laughs> so Lucy also likes to nap. She likes to nap a lot. <laughs> Oh, she's waking up. So if she is not sleeping, she's demanding constant attention. And if she does not get it, she will yell and cry a lot. What do you think of Lucy, Eli? She's cute. She's cute? She's definitely cute. She's really strong. Usually it takes a couple of days for them to start walking around and probably within a couple minutes of her being born, she was up and standing and walking and even running. She's really, she's like a human baby. Like the only time that I can walk away is if I can like put her to bed and then lie her down. <laughs> so this is a formula that I've been feeding her. She's having a little bit of a hard time at first eating out of it, but she's getting a lot better. <laughs> so this is my new homeschool project. You know that project they do in schools where they give you like a sack of flour with a face and you have to pretend it's a baby for home ec? This is like the homeschool version of that. It's the homeschool farm version of the flower sack baby. Cries, I have to put it to sleep, I have to feed it. It's cute, cuter than a sack of flour. Same, same, no difference. I'm gonna try really hard to be able to do a good job raising it and to be able to feed it well. I better be able to keep this thing alive. If not, I get an F in home ec, so. I'm a lamb mother. Don't eat my hair, no! It's so tiny. Did I? What are you doing? One thing when she falls asleep, I uh, I'm stuck in one place. Oh, she woke up. She really loves that towel. I think she's hungry. I can get her to eat. Kind of guide the bottle into her mouth and then I just squish the end of it to try to get some of the milk out so she can see that she can drink from it. Then usually she latches on. So this is only the first day. I'm sure she'll get better and it will get easier. <laughs> Pulls me around like a little puppy. Are you clingy, Lucy? Huh? You like her, Eli? <laughs> there you go. She fell asleep again. Every time she eats, she gets tired. All right, so me and my mom and my siblings are inside the pump house. This is where we're keeping little Lucy because we can't put her in with our other sheep because they've been mean to her and we don't want her mom to hurt her. And it's too cold in the barn and it's too cold outside. So she's sleeping inside here with a little heater. Good night with you in the morning. Good morning. We're all set up. She's got her little jacket. She's got her blanket, a little stuffed animal. I'm not sure I'm still playing. <laughs> See you in the morning. All right, so Lucy made it through the night. We have moved her out of the pump house into the sheep shelter. So we've put up a little 
DIY barricade thingy. <laughs> Try to keep the other sheep from being able to hurt her, but we want them to get used to her being out here so we can eventually put her out here with them. So yesterday we were having a little bit of a hard time getting her to eat from the bottle. She's finally, finally getting a little bit used to it. <laughs> wanna fight? You wanna go, little girl? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, my dream has just come true. I'm a waffle. <laughs> this is Myrtle. I'm so mad at you, Myrtle, for rejecting Lucy. Ugh. This is our other pregnant one, Mona. I think she'll be a better mom. You never know, but she's a lot sweeter than Myrtle is, and she's been pretty nice to Lucy. Daddy, don't you ram me. <laughs> Lucy woke up. You want to take her to go play out in the grass? Mm -hmm. Alright, grab her. You can't get past this, can you? <laughs> uh, sheep are getting a little close to the barn. Aww, Lucy wants to hang out with the other sheep. They don't play with you, huh? <laughs> Lucy, can't go in the barn, I'm sorry. <laughs> she threw their legs. <laughs> she looks so content. <laughs> Manny, get out of the barn. <laughs> Lucy, no. Where are you going? <laughs> Manny Mona, you won't leave me alone. Stop it. No. Ugh. She's like a real life teddy bear. I love her. <laughs> this is uh, by far the most interesting school project I've ever had. I better not fail. <laughs> it's like usually right after she sleeps, she's pretty hungry, so. There you go. Yay. Makes me so happy that she's eating so well now. Drink quite a bit. Good <laughs> I think that Lucy is the cutest farm animal we have ever had. Lucy is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I try to walk away from her, that's what she does. I'm right here. <laughs> She's so sweet. All right, so it's a couple days later. Kira, what is going on? Mona's um, having her baby. Mona's having her babies? Babies or baby, we don't know yet. But she's in labor. She is in the sheep pen right now. You think she'll have one or two? One. Two. One. One. All right, I think one. All right, guys, so I'm going to go outside and see what's going on with Mona with my parents. Please keep an eye out for my next video. I will update you guys on Lucy and how Mona's labor went and how many babies she has. Please remember to comment down below. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. What are you doing? I'm dancing. 